Hey, hey, how's everybody doing out there? It's uh, Cameron James, just coming to you guys live from the garage. Um, what's up? And I'm here to cut you guys a quick video of the tips and tricks of how to change the spark plugs on a 2003 3.8 liter V6 Mustang. I looked all over the internet on some tips of how to do this, and I couldn't find anything. So I decided, screw it, I'm going to do it myself, figure it out on my own. And then show you guys a video of a few of the things that I came across when I was doing this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to change them right in front of you because I've already done that. I'm just going to go through a few of the things that you need and a few of the things that I found helpful as far as getting this job done. Now, um, I'm assuming you all guys know how spark plugs work and why they need to be changed and uh, etc. and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not, I don't need to go through that. I'm just going to show you guys what you guys need. And what you'll need for this job on this particular vehicle is uh, these two extensions. You're also going to need a 916th wrench, a 5 8 uh, spark plug socket. You see the little rubber inside there. Um, a wrench, and it's really helpful to have this, this swivel on it. That helps a lot. You're going to need a spark plug gapper, um, dielectric grease, anti-seize, which you put on the thread of the new spark plug before you put them in. The dielectric grease is for the spark plug boot as well as you put it on the uh, the porcelain of the spark plug. Just a thin layer. You need um, the flathead screwdriver for, for taking your air intake off as well as a few of these little plastic clips. I just have this just because and you're going to need new spark plugs which I use. These NGKG powers as well as these MSD uh, superconductor, the 8.5 millimeters, as my spark plug wires. Now, uh, a couple of the things that I came across when doing this was just this accessibility. It was pretty difficult for me to get my arm and reach it down there because, as you can see, these things are kind of tucked away pretty far uh, in the back there, so it was pretty difficult. I had to uh, disconnect this little guy right here and then uh, just to push it over to the side in order to get my arm back there. And that is where the 916 uh, wrench or ratchet came into play. And then the flathead screwdriver I had to take, across, take away uh, my air intake just so I could get to these uh, passenger side uh, spark plugs back there. Uh, another thing that I came across was these little clips right here are pretty finicky. Um, be sure not to break them like I did because this one's broken. Um, you know, just be careful with them. I kind of got frustrated and I snapped it, I think. So don't make that mistake. Um, yeah, other than that, it's, you know, changing spark plugs, changing spark plugs. It's not too, too difficult. This was a little bit of a tedious task as far as um, doing it because of accessibility. It was pretty difficult, especially, um, you know, uh, I'm a pretty fat guy, so <laughs> my, arms, my arms are tough to get in there. Um, anyways, you know, I hope that helped you guys out a little bit. Take care. Bye.